good afternoon guys we will continue from where we stopped in the last video here we are going to talk about maximum and minimum of a set now for max maximum of a set maximum of a set is the largest member of of a set it is the largest member of a set let us know that we have a non-empty set s which is equals to S1, S2, STD, dot dot dot, up to SN. So, the maximum member of the set will be the maximum of the set. Why the minimum? The minimum of the set is the smallest that is the element that is very small smallest member member of a set so example let's have this example 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 let's consider this a, a set a having 0 to 5 which is same to my same 0 1 two three four five then that zero and five five now the max the maximum the max of a the max a is five why because five is the largest here yeah. the max the minimum the minimum of a is zero now do you get it? Is there is zero? So let's consider this example. Remember, we have open and close set. So let's have this example. Well, let us consider one more. So I will explain more there. Example two. They have set A having one to seven. The maximum here, yeah, maximum of A is undefined because it is an open set. It is an open set. The max will be. We can imagine. We can imagine the max maximum number. It will be undefined. And look at the minimum. The minimum of a two will be what undefined because we can imagine how small it will be. So far, it is what an open set. Do you get it? Yeah. An open set. I can write this as. This same thing, giving this expression as one less than x less than seven, something like this. You can write it like this. So there's a way we now look for the max and minimum of an open set. If you can look for it, that's why we introduce supremum and infimum. So let's have a supremum of a set. Supremum of a set. Is the least upper bound of the set is the least least upper bound of a set. So if you recall from the last example that we did on upper bounds that we have something like this. Let's have some. Let's have this. Let's have this particular example. So to look for the supremum of this example, whereby let me use this. Whereby we have one and seven, and you know the upper bound for this normal is always seven or more. Upper bound. We have a equals to this. Upper bound, upper bound 
of set A is 7 or more. Right? Now, why the supremum? The supremum will be the least upper bound. Now, look here. What will be the least upper bound? When you have 7 or more, the least will be 7. So, our supremum here is what? 7. Supremum is 7. Do you get? Very simple. So, because he said supremum is the least upper bound of the set. Now, let's go for infimum too. Infimum of the set. Of the set. Infimum of the set is the greatest lower, lower bound. Is the greatest lower bound. Greatest lower bound of a set. Now look at considering this same example here. Here a is equals to one seven. Now the lower bound, the lower bound of set A is is one or less but the greatest you know we have one that is less so one zero minus one one come back zero minus one minus two that is those are the least and um, the low upper bound but the greatest lower bound the greatest lower bound is what one because among all the lower um, lower bounds one is the greatest among so the infimum the infimum of set a is one in this case and the reason why we use infimum and supremum is because there are some sets whereby we can't look for their maximum and minimum so we use infimum and supremum so the, uh, there's a, always a case whereby they will ask you to look for maximum minimum supremum infimum whereby you'll be able to look for maximum and supremum in that case whereby you have something like that a is equals to one and seven on the closed interval you know your maximum here max of a is seven your minimum of a is one because it is what it is and what it is a closed interval so same your supremum also your supremum that is s sup, sup of a will also be seven and inf, infimum of a will also be what one so this is the only the case whereby they are always equal once the interval is what closed do you get it thank you